Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Neon Knights icon theme. So I've already got it downloaded and extracted, but you can do that with these commands here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to access the download directory and I'm going to do the installation as root, so system-wide, but you can do it as single user. So to start off, I need to do sudo s enter my password and I can download or go into my uh, downloads folder from here and we can see all of our folders and we can then do MV Neon Knights folders and move everything into the right directory as you see it's not there anymore so we can do CD user share icons and as we see, all of the Neon Knight stuff are here now. So that's how you get it installed. And of course, you can also run this LS grab, and it'll just show you all this stuff here. Uh, but uh, once that's all installed, you can open up your appearance settings. Now, I'm using XFCE, but, you know, icons are icons. So it doesn't really matter. You can change it on any desktop. There's no requirement. You can go through, and you can select your different Neon, neon Knight stuff. Let um, me open up my home folder. So as we can see, I'm using Papyrus right now, but if I switch to blue, Neon Knights, we're now using blue. If I switch to green, we're using green, orange, red, and so on. And also, as you can see, it's using a lot of the breeze icon-ish stuff. So it's a little mixture. I really think it looks nice. Maybe not my taste for sure, but it does look nice. So that's how you get the Neon Knights icon theme working. And be warned, some of these icons do not work perfectly like there's some uh, you know some icons that aren't just gonna show up right but uh, that's how you get it working the Neon Knights icon theme on Linux I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one